Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam from Red Cube Games and Top Blitz Productions. Well, welcome you back to the channel. We're playing on the Oxbow map uh, version 2.0.2.4, which is, by word of the devs, the final update we will be getting uh, as they are now shifting their programming resources over to the uh, other platforms, getting the game ready for other platforms. So those of you who are not on uh, Steam on PC should be excited because that means the clock is ticking down now until you will be getting uh, the updates on the game to your uh, selected platform. So with uh, no further ado, 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 do, ado, ado, do, do. Uh, let's kick it in. We're having, uh, of course, Monday night is uh, village meeting night. Uh, and so, yes, I've just wrapped up the, the village meeting. We're having the, uh, we may be looking at the pie eating contest later. We're just waiting for the pies to arrive. So I see everyone already decided to bolt and go home. Um, with that said, let's just real quickly just kind of catch up on things. You know what? This, uh, this wheat bread's dip, 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 dip. dip. I don't want to really restock on stuff, so let's just hit that. Let's just run over here because we're actually just gonna go go sleep. Just uh, I like to be fully fueled, you know, refueled and uh, clean. Let's see where we are in cleanliness. Yeah, we could use bath before we go get in bed with the whiff. Let's do that real quick. And all right, cool. All set. Sweet. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go sleep, and that will wake us up. Wake me up before you go, go. All right. Top of the morning to you. I don't know, but it is what it is. So, uh, it's day four. We are down to four-day seasons. The baby Miesco. Although I would expect now she would do something a little different with him. All right, let's see what's going on out here in the village. Let's take a quick look at our um, peoples. And we don't have anybody pregnant. I'm kind of disappointed. I think we have like five couples now. Ugh, what's the deal? Miesco is now a year old, so that's good. That means another year. And um, Ricky will be back in the workforce. So that will basically, I think once we get through this season... That'll be down to three seasons before she's back. So if a, if a couple gets pregnant going into fall or autumn, we should be in good shape because Ricky will then be back before the, that woman has her baby. And so then we'll, uh, you know, it'll be a, a little easier uh, to work with. Of course, Ricky's one of our top NPCs at 20. That's uh, 32 points. Yeah, so... Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Okay. So, um, let's see. What do we need to do here? There's some quests. Does anyone in the village have a quest for us? No. We addressed those last time, right? Two of the guys in the uh, markets had issues, and we knocked that out right quick. So, the question then becomes, is there something we need to do, something we need to build? Where are we at? In our building technology, we are closing in. We're uh, a little over 600 points away from uh, resource storage three, which is great. And then our under building we need to unlock is the tavern, and we are 8,600 and change. Or no, not 8,600. Uh, 20, no, 1,600. I can math. 1,600 and 8.1. If you want to be exact, away from unlocking the tavern. Uh, at which point, I think we'll have everything unlocked. Fishing Hut uh, 2 is done. Uh, down here, we got the windmill done. We still don't have somebody working in that. Um, that said, I think we need to go check the pigsties. Because I don't think I've put someone back in there. Let's go <laughs> on our parkour course. Like And the piggies, oh, that's actually, this will be great because they're not awake yet. Yeah. All right, 
it gets it to 93%. I don't, I don't care about the manure situation. That has apparently been reduced uh, with the, um, the patch. The amount of manure produced has been reduced, but that's okay. We're not too fussed about it. All right, so a couple things I can think of. We do want to, ooh, you know, uh, we don't need to do this, but let's do this. I think we can get this done. Yeah, let's get this done quickly. Gather all the eggs. We have tons of eggs. We're selling them, though, and it helps supplant uh, the number of our villagers because we have three people working the three chicken coops uh, bring in. So, hello, hello, hello. I can't see it. it eh. So, a couple times a season, we want to come in. Usually, you know, second day of the season and then the final day of the season. And uh, with people in your animal husbandry jobs, as long as you have animal feed in uh, storage, then they will make sure that the animal feed stays full. This stuff here you see, like just like the manure on the pig uh, pens, is for you to collect as opposed to your villagers. They will collect a certain number of stuff but this is uh, this allows you to collect. I'm getting moved around by chickens. Move, clowns. All right, out of the way, out of the way. Move on, move on. Yep. We have to set us up a. Um, I gotta set up a slaughterhouse situation. So now it's eight o'clock. So everybody's waking up and getting out to do their thing. And so we're gonna wrap this up, and then we'll be out of here. And so I think. Yeah, maybe. Uh, also, I still need to redo the uh, swimming uh, deal. Cool. There we go. All right, that's all set. All right, excuse me. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. All right, let's make sure we don't have any chicks that are new to the village. We covered our chickens last time. I, I know. I think we're maxed out. Yeah. With 30, there should be 10 chicks per, or chickens per hen house. So I think we're, we're good there. We're maxed out on pigs, and all of them are adults now. So, all right. Good deal. Let's jump over here and come down here. And, oh, wait. This is not, well, actually, yes. We can drop the feathers off. I don't think there's anything else we need to drop off. We just need to run around and drop off the eggs. And there's Donnie Packard. Howdy, howdy, sir. How are you today? How is your Monday going? All right, let's take a quick gander at... So, uh, let's see. And again, if you're watching and have questions, feel free to ask. I will work through answering them. All right, let's take a quick look here. We got soured milk. Okay. So, we got, ah, this is good. We got, we got good math here, I think. We're only carrying 20 kilos. We should be good with this. Okay, so, seven soured milk and seven fresh milk okay this is good we're gonna take this and this okay and then you see there's a bucket we can take out of this group and and a bucket we can take here Okay, now we're just going to use whoever's house is convenient. That would be this house here. Hello, knock, knock, about to use your house. 
and we're going to make some cork real quick with sour milk. Um, and now we can make 80 cheese. And then we'll go throw that in food storage and that will help us out. Cool. All right, sweet. Run over here. Boink. And 80 chests. Here we go. And now we can take all these buckets of water. Oh, now we can take all these buckets and fill them with water and then put them back into food storage. Okay, cool. And bada bing ski, bada boom ski. There's another 160 water. So we got 54 and 24. That's uh, 78 by my book. Good to go. All right, that takes care of that. Now we got a production issue. What seems to be the problem, officer? Workshop three, what are you short on? No resources. Wicker crate, are you out of steak? Oh, you're out of steak. They are. Okay, so there's two parts to this. What we need to do is go to extraction, woodshed C. And that means we're not extract, we're not bringing in enough steak. All right, so we're bringing in 30 logs there, 33 there, so that's 63, uh, 64, plus 34. So we're bringing in, up. Oh, there's the dryer's done, um, right about 100 logs a day. So we're turning 50 of them into firewood, and then here... We're turning 16 of them into planks. So that's seven, uh, 66 into, into, we're turning 66 into something. We don't need this many planks. So we're going to drop this number down and bring this number up. So it's a few more logs per day. There's 41. Okay, cool. Now, in Woodshed C, that's where we process steak. So we're going to bring this number down. Because we just offset. So five less logs per day here. And we'll bring about another 15 sticks or so a day in. Okay? So now, that still doesn't address the issue at hand. So we're going to address the issue at hand by gathering sticks. Real quick, quick. Gather them sticks. Um, yeah, all right, we'll just gather along the coastline here. Now, some of them have come in, because you see the, the master idiot alert disappear from the upper left-hand corner. So that means some sticks have come in for them to be able to do what they need to do, making wicker crates and stuff. But we're going to supplant that number here real quick. Supplement, I guess, would be a better term to use there. And this will help them catch up. Right? Does that make sense? All right. That's pretty good. We come down here towards the edge of the property. At the bottom of the creek. There we go. That. Grab that. Here, grab some of this. Some steak. All right. And let's see. Is there anything over? Yep. Mm hmm Grab that. Clean up that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Grab that. Steak. And now ah, we're good. We don't need to go... Well, we'll go into the uh, the pen here. I don't want them having a bunch of uh, sticks in there. 
get scratched up on or anything like that. Okay, cool. That looks much neater. All right, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. You got anything? Yep, got something here to pick up. Grab that. Uh, anything up this way? Nope, looks good, looks good. Looks good. Uh, there's a steak right there. Let's grab that. And a quick loop around here. Hi, donkeys. Hi, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. I hear you. Okay, good. So, now we've gathered a bunch of steak. And we'll just jump in here. Throw them in here, and that will resolve their issue. Oh, yeah, 134. Boom. Confetti. Sweet. Hi, Lee. Welcome aboard. Yes, we're getting an early start today. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not a matinee, but, you know, it costs... It's a lower charge. You know. You know. More... It's, it's, it's a lower charge than if you were... If uh, this were going on, you know, this evening. Right? Okay, so now, there's that. It's 11.39. What do we want to do? All right, so we already hunted the wolves and the bear down here. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, did we find a couple of... Um, so, Gundolf, we had a couple of uh, possible recruits. Um, Gundolf... Is a one three three two two two. He's thirteen points. Unold, uh, unold, is a three two two three two one. The, which is not bad. Gundolf is a little better in regards to he's a three in hunting already, which means we don't have to run that number up, right? Because that's a pain in the butt. Whereas unold. Unold is a three in diplomacy, and that's easy to run up. But he's a one in production, which just means it'd be slow getting him to do anything. Gundolf, we just got to put him in extraction so we can stuff him in the mine and get him uh, squared away. So you know what? I think uh, Baby is just over a year old. Baby Miesco is just over a year old. So... Why don't we do this? Why don't we? Why don't we indeed? We got to go to Klonica to recruit Gundolf. So let's go weapons hot. And we will take the overland route to get there. Huh? That sound exciting? I think that sounds exciting. Just check our housing real quick. 51 workers. We got 51 houses, which means we have open housing. We have a simple small house here. We have two we have yet to build. Uh, we have an open one on 2nd Street. Actually, this one, I think, is also on 2nd Street. And then this one is down 2nd Street. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And then we do that, we do that, we do that. And then we click on this one. Boink. Yep, it's right next to them. So I have to renumber the houses on 2nd Street. So, um, yeah. Let us mosey, and we will make a road trip over to Klonica. Yeah, Builder Bob. <laughs> You're so funny. And um, while we're over in the Klonica area, we shall do a little um, investigating for bad guys. Move, birds. Uh, Lee, how's your foot doing? Now, over here, I don't think we have... Oh, Unold is over here. Let me check these guys so I can... Uh, this guy's a... Possible... 
He's only a 12 point NPC. This guy's also a 12 point NPC. Not have no, not taking him because Hi. We're going to take him and then we're going to send him packing. Where's his name? He's at the bottom of the list. Oh, there he is. Mallow Mallowmere, which actually is kind of a cool name, but now the reason why I'm ditching him, he's a 3 in in farming, which is terrific. And he's a three in diplomacy. Okay, great. But we know diplomacy, you can... I mean, look at our diplomacy numbers. They're better than anything. You put someone in the market, and they're like Billy Mays, right? Sell, 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 sell. And that number skyrockets. What sucks is it's hard for them to get their hunting numbers up and their survival numbers up, and he's a one in both. Which means, go back to the valley, get some experience, come back and see me. Hasta la bye bye. All right, Unold's on the right. This guy, uh, we're gonna send Hello him. There. He's a twelve point APC, but he's mostly twos. Egbert. He's got a cool name, but he gots to go. All right, cool. <clears throat> I know we just did that. See how the rabbit already responded? Now I was chatting with. Uh, a lady on Facebook today and she's struggling with hunting I got her apparently she watches my streams but she's far behind on them so I'm hoping maybe she'll stop in um, you haven't run any bandits okay so the key thing oops let's do this is you may well find them at this house here um, I found them at this house here I think I've found them at the camp down here from Ostoya found them at this building on the ridge here I think we found one at the house down here ish I think there's a camp we found over this way somewhere. And then at the uh, uh, fishing village, abandoned fishing village over here, and then up here at the fortress. Those are just a few places I've found them. Oh, and then, of course, the most often place we found them is at the ambush site here above Ostoya, which is right here. I found them there three times so far, I think. We'll we'll check over here. Again. Oh, oh, they're here. Actually, bad guy alert. There it is, folks. See it? See the fire burning? That means see? That's all you gotta do is look for the fire. And it's time to have some fun. So let's do this. Let's do a quick quick save. Sorry, Donnie. You know, this was happening with one of my other viewers. I think he got mad and left. Um that uh Oh, shit. Hello. Run, 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 run. He came out to engage very quickly. That I did not expect. Oh, shit. There's another. You missed me, bitch. Oh, nope. Never mind. Hey, yeah, I see you. Oh, they're running faster now, too. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't reload. Got to reload. Got to reload. There was two. I didn't realize there was two. I got that first one on a crossing shot. That was pretty good. Shall we? I think we shall. Oh, we got him. Tag that ass. <laughs> Question is, do they have a buddy up there who's going to shoot at me? All right. Anybody else? All right. We're going we're gonna to work our situational awareness. Run around trying to find them. That that's the thing is you guys the ruins are the place to check. Now, here's the deal. I didn't expect them to come out and engage. The first one was hiding here in the barn, and that's where the first time I saw one here. That's why I was kind of and then all of a sudden they came out to play. That was different. Okay. Is he was right here? It was like boink. You're dead. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go top side. Because I'm going to see if I can get a shot at their buddy up in the house. There should be another one up in the house. And I don't know if I've triggered him to come out yet or not. 
down, squat. That's all I can squat? Ah, crap. That doesn't do squat for me. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I know. That was funny. All right. So I just said this. I was just talking about this. Um, Jesus! That was close. All right. He's a shooter. All right. Reposition. <laughs> Whoa. All right, dickhead. Where are you? I don't see him. Tell me I'm going to have to rush this ass. wonder if he's right inside that window. No, he can't be. He's got to be somewhere else. Hang on. Let's reevaluate our life choices here. And while we're here, I don't see any movement. Huh. Okay. Let me get this bolt out of your back there, pal. Because I'm nice like that. Okay. Quickly. Okay, where where's the other guy? Where's the other douchebag? The one I shot, the one I got with that crossing shot that just. Where is he? Is he? Oh, there he is! Hey, how's it hanging? Nice copper spear. Glad you didn't get to use that on me. A is for apple. O is for onions, and D is for dead. Next time you see me, just lay on the ground because you're dead. Um, I'm thinking we can use the barn for cover or, yeah, I think we're going to need to use the barn for cover and then see if we, I think maybe I, he's got to be up there somewhere, right? he's not up here damn it if he's up there he is well camouflaged we're have to we have to go in guns blazing with our axe drawn because I don't see this guy hmm go 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 here we go here we go Oh, you missed me, bitch. You came out to play? Oh, I bet that hurt. Oh, I bet that hurt, too. Nah, that hurt, too. Nope. Nope, that works. You're done. Yep, that was the shooter. What's up, asshole? <laughs> cool. Uh, that's what you get. All right. So the question is, anybody else? Probably be smart if I were to do something to heal here. If only I had a, well, I don't know, potion of healing here. Um, I do. But you know what I got a lot of is dandelions. And then we can take a couple of these. Boop, boop, boop. Anyone else? Okay, no one here. Oh, there's arrows all over the floor. That's cute. All right, so he was in here. And I figured as much because he had cover and concealment. I could not seize him. And he decided to come out and play. That was the key was to take away his range effectiveness. All right, so now, just in case, here's where you go. Around the north side. Rush in. Anyone here? Nope, there's contraband. Ha ha! Beginning of the game, this is where you come to get the gold ring out of there. And uh, bronze pickaxe, bronze shovel, and whatever is in that container. All right? But yeah, there's... Go in that room there, be ready to go. All right, cool. Well, that was exciting. Hooray. Thanks. All right, that was fun. So let's get back on the road for Klonica. 
Now the ki chances are there is not going to be really. Thank you. Please drive through. I mean, you just seriously ran right to me, dude. What did you expect? The only thing I didn't do was say, he's coming right for us. Right? Which means you can shoot anything. He's coming right for us. Boom. That's how it works. South Park rules. 1611. So we're going to have to get a beat feet here. Uh, Here. Hold on. While I'm here, let's actually... <laughs> All right, let's truck it. I do not like being in this swamp. It gives me the heebie jeebies and the creepy deepies. There's the creepy dude over here. Plus, there's a quest with the idiot at the board you got to run through, and that's to that. Uh, there's a big freaking tree over there. All right, birds. Not a fan of this guy in here. I mean, there's stuff you can go get. There's little stuffs you can, you won't want to steal from him proper, but you'll find trunks and like that cart, things like that you can check. And then like there's there's buildings over there too. The other thing is, I think there may be. Was it in the area? Is there anything over here? No, just crash cart. Let's go. Get foe. <laughs> Too bad we can't stay, baby. But you can go check those houses over there and find some stuff. Uh, I, I don't feel inclined to. <laughs> nope. It's time for me to unass this joint. And we are going to make a quick pit stop. Okay, cool. Nothing along the water's edge there. All right. So, uh, while we still have some daylight, let me take a quick look. I think if we just skirt the water, we'll be okay. We just got to look out for this wizard here. We'll skirt the water's edge, and we can get over to that campsite. I don't think we're going to find anything alive there because we just found something where we were. But, hey, you won't know unless you try, right? Now, if you get over here, this area, you're not in the, the no build, no cut zone. Actually, once you're past this road, east of that road there. Um, and this area over here has lots of maple trees. So it's very popular to build out this way. So maple trees help. All right, there's Bullwinkle. There was Bullwinkle. Ah, there's stuff. Hooray. We stumbled across some stuffs. You don't need the... Whoop, hey, nope, don't need that. Oh. Seriously, this should... I mean, I'm sorry. This ought to be an ambush site bandits if you're around here for too long don't need the planks need my bolt back bullwinkle so I kind of like that I mean yeah that that dude got a couple of licks in on us oh Jesus what is not in the farm shed people for frack's sake bull slawa what are you out of no item fertilizer <gasps> Poop, as it were. She'll be okay in nine minutes. All right, we got to get fertilizer and load it into the uh, deal. Look, go, Mrs. Bullwinkle. I'm letting you stay. All right. All right. So, um, boy, not a fan of the fog. All right, so here's the deer. 
All right, so now the master idiot alert has disappeared. So either we got enough fertilizer in or... I don't think there's anything hostile to my back. Um, no, not immediately. On this island, the only hostile thing is Piggy. So, unless there's a random wolf spawn. I don't think anybody's home. Nobody's home. If you like all the decorations and stuff, though, it's super cool. Looks good. These should have stuff in them, though. Can I take that broom? Give me a clean sweep. Bucket of fish. Okay. All right. Nothing here. All right. Now we got to backtrack back over to Klonica. Really, dude? Oh, he turned her. Okay. He made a smart move. Y'all move away from the A train. Somebody's going to get shot. I did like that passing shot on that second dude. Came out of nowhere. He deserved it. Oh, you want to make a two on one? Never tell me the odds. Come on, Mrs. Bullwinkle. Keep moving. Move along. Move along. Like I knew you do. Tonka. There's the wizard. And we're back up to speed. In your face. Yeah, you you turned and then you turned back. I'm just saying. You set yourself up for that one, dude. Just saying. I mean, did y'all not see that? He he turned. It started to turn. It's like, yo, man, you uh, you got a chance. You got a chance to make the right decision here. Sound like Denzel Washington on the Equalizer. I'm gonna give you a chance to make the right decision. Do the right thing. He didn't do the right thing. He got dead. See, even here, I think we're still outside. Now, once we come past this road, we're into the no-build, no-cut zone. Uber, I'll be back for you. What time is it? 1942? Good movie. And talk like an idiot. Uh, here, come here. Hey, 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 hey. It says boy. Buy some junk off of me. Buy that, buy that. Buy that. Buy hook or buy crook. Uh, keep that, sure. Take those. Take those. That. Uh, we'll hold on to that. And take that. Best cool. goods in the realm. You think, huh? Thank her. I don't think so. I'm not terribly impressed. That don't impress me much. Oh, 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 oh. All right, ladies. A shy one. I only travel when nobody is watching. Where's, where's Gundolf? Did we recruit Gundolf? What the hell? Yeah. Why? We didn't. Did I miss? Gun, was Gundolf last season? 
Or did I mismark his village? Oh, man. Oh, that's right, because it was all dudes over at Piastovia. It's all chicks over here at Klonica. Rhymes with strife. Wife Can rhymes with strife. All right, Erica. I don't think so. Uh, she's a 12 point. Oh, it's you again. We don't need it. We need another Dobro, Yo, Joe, whatever. See, now that. she's useless too. She's a one in hunting and one in diplomacy. Oh, it's you again. Yep. Catch the bus. And head back to the valley because we don't need you here. Oh, geez, she's at the bottom of the list, too. All right, now this chick, Erica, whose name we can at least pronounce, she's a three in survival, she's a three in farming, she's a one in production and extraction. Eh. Not so great. Yeah. I'd have some heartburn, too, if I, you know, knew that was my skill set. All right. We're going to scoot back over, boot scoot our way back over to the village. Uh, we're going to Uber back, actually. I ain't foo-fooing around in the dark out here. Are you crazy? Not without night vision goggles and an M4 SOP mod. <laughs> Consider upgrading my wax. Hello there. You know what? Let's just make one more quick trip around the realm here. Just in case I missed something. Did I clear this place out? I don't think anybody was worthy over here. Oh, there's one guy. There's two guys. Ah, Leonard. My favorite activity. Now this guy, eh? Three in hunting, not bad, but he's one in farming and one in Willard, extraction. And water. Leonard, and, uh, it's your story. Some firewood and a roof over my head, of course. How do you do? Same. Am I too demanding? Yeah. All right, Leonard McCoy. You're out of here. And that leaves this guy who I don't think we're going to hire... Oh, it's you again. So he's out. Peace out. All right. Well, that sucks. So that means Gundalf's gone. So we might as well check. How can I help you? Check into Astoria. So Gundolf is gone. Unold. Uh, I think we're gonna write off the Piastovia. You know how it is with monarchs. No, you tell me. They say, but do not get and then pay me, so I don't go tell them what you said. Just saying. That's how you make money. Hmm. All right, Domasol. Uh, no. Hello there. Goodbye. And what's your story? Scar Scarbimira. You got the same problem. In fact, you got a bigger problem. You're only an 11 point NPC. Hello there. Hello there. You sound like you from Texas. West Texas at that. All right, that flushes the flushes the toilet of crappy uh, candidates. So let's get back home, clean up, get to bed. How can I help you? Need a ride, Piastovia. Let's go. Oh yeah, I gotta do my. Uh, we gotta dump some fertilizer in the dealio that's my chair creaking like what the hell 
We have an extra. Whoops. All right, all right, all right. There's manure. Are we not making enough fertilizer? What are we doing? There's one fertilizer. Oh, that's not good. Okay, how much manure is there? There's a lot of manure. And now there's plenty of fertilizer. Yeah. Okay, let's throw down something to eat here real quick. Oh, look, we got lots of options. Uh, let's get rid of the janky apples first. And then get rid of these kind of janky apples. And then these not so janky apples. And while we're here, hell with it, just throw the cheese down. And get a sip of the high quality H2O. Go take a bath. Go to bed. Yeah, 10 o'clock. All right, this is the final day of summer now. Oh, it's raining again. Dang it. All right. So, now we need to do some management stuff because we need to check all the fields. Field 12 is where, ooh. Oh, it's in the process of being. Oh, it's in the process of being fertilized. Okay. We got some fields that need some work here. All right, so let's just go through these real quick. All right, so beetroot. Harvest in fall, harvest in fall. This flaxseed, back up. All right, that field has been cleared and fertilized. That field has been cleared but not fertilized. That field has been cleared but not fertilized. That's onions. Um, this is the one we'll uh, set up for. That one's growing and harvest in autumn. Cleared and fertilized, cleared and fertilized. Okay, so we need to finish fertilizing this field, and then we're actually going to switch it over to cabbage. Okay, so now, poppy, little poppy fields, whatever, okay. This field of carrots has been uh, cleared and fertilized. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go help this situation here. That's an east side. So we are going to, I don't know how much of this I can carry. Not, enough, not that much. Let's drop half of it. Okay. And actually, we should be able to grab a bag. Okay, so there's a couple of bags. I don't want to fart around with this. Let's go, people. Kick in the weight. Uh, oh, we got to drop off this meat. We'll do that, and then we won't have to use a meat, uh, weight, um, potion of weight. I mean, we have a bunch of other crap we could drop off too, but we have a bunch of other crap we could drop off too. As it were. Okay, we don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, cool. 
Now we're up to full speed. Okay, so is this the field we're looking for? It is the field we're looking for. Hello? There we go. All right, so let me get this done here. Two. Remember, you're the most efficient villager you've got. So, you know, I could move people around, but it looks like what we need to do is up our production of fertilizer. And it could be a situation where two people are actually, oh, you know what? No, they ran out of fertilizer, so she probably grabbed the hoe and started hoeing this field tilling it as it were there's that part Unless we get a second person in here, this field will not get completed in time uh, because it is end of season. This is the trick with five day seasons. We just have to be adaptable, you know, to make up the take up the slack. Right. All right there. All right. The field is fertilized. Now we got to make sure it's hoed. Okay, so here we're going to drop off uh, one of the bags, drop off fertilizer. Uh, we're going to grab the 100 cabbage seed, and we're going to grab the iron hoe. And um, actually, we're going to leave the cabbage seed for now. Because she, I don't think she'll be able to get the whole field done, but... Um, damn it, seven. Whoa, hello. Start planting seeds, lady. I know, I'm not doing this my efficient way, but that's okay. Oh, shit, she's... Start planting. I'm better at you than this. Better than you at this. I'm telling you, I'm better than you at this. Hello? That takes care of that part of the field. Now, so I'm going to throw the hoe back in here. Let's throw that hoe back. I will take half the cabbage seed so then she can keep working on her part of it. So now she's going to come over and get a bag and the cabbage seed. So I'm going to go down here. If I can get half the, the field done, she shouldn't have a, a, a real problem getting half the field done, but it depends on her skill level, too. This is part of the reason why I recommend 10 by 6 fields. I mean, later, yeah, you'll go bigger, but it's easier to manage the fertilization. It's easier to manage the field by yourself. Damn it. Look here. Lady, you're pissing me off, Fafa. 
Go work another. I mean, I'll go work this side. Fine. Okay, now I just got to do one more row here. And a little bit extra because she goofed my style. If she had just taken this side of the field to begin with. go don't say I never helped you and that'll do pig all right she can finish the rest of the field or he can finish the rest of the field whoever that may have been a case where um, the guy from the west field is over here so let's look at uh, who's over here so this is um, farming East Shed is Boleslaw. That's a woman. And see, Simicil, see, he's working over on this side. So his, uh, it's possible, at, it, actually, it's possible at this point they're crossed up. All right, so that's getting, that's getting taken care of. The only thing we can plant this season. Autumn, hello, how are you? What's the update? How you feeling, girl? Okay. So the only thing we needed to worry about was this field. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Unplowed. Okay, so this... Um, hmm. That's weird. Whatever. Uh, let's do this. Um... Let's see who's working in the barn on the west side. Nope, nope, nope. Missed a fun little fight earlier. Three out of four people. Okay, yeah, so let's do this. Let's put one more person. Oh, there's part of the issue. Hang on. Let's up our production of fertilizer. Okay. Now, barn three is down on the south side. Milo Bad is the only one working down there, and he's working the grains. Okay. So that's straightforward. West barn is supposed to be focused on animal feed, and they're also doing work on flax seed. Hmm. Um, let's drop this because this can wait up this up yours and then that helps with this balance here and we'll raise that number up okay uh, and then in the west barn we're actually going to pull someone off of that whoops uh, who is, oh, it doesn't matter, they're all threes. So, um, Wyslawa is, it doesn't matter, dude, dude, you're wasting time. Just grab Wyslawa. Wyslawa is barn worker, and we're just going to reassign her to Farm Shed West. Okay. That'll help supplement and then, you know, 
for the next eight hours or seven and a half hours, uh, they can work on that. Okay, cool. All right, so that should help that situation. Now, is there anything else I need to dump off here? Onions? No, we're back to a fairly, I mean, we're a little on the heavy side because of food. I knock some of that out. Okay. Uh, we can uh, reset this. We still have this extra knife. Oh, we got this extra cheese. That's that's a little bit of the weight, too. Let's stay another day. Ah, oh, bummer. As long as you're healthy when you go home, that's all that matters. As long as you're healthy when you go home. Because it would be much easier just to hold you an extra day and you'd be, you know, not happy than to go home and relapse or, or worse and wind up right back in there for even longer. Right? Oh, I see. Okay. No worries. So we're going to get that 10 by 10 cabbage field for fall, for autumn. Right? And then... Uh, we will probably let's take a look at how much we have because that's our winter wheat field right we probably actually should switch away from that what am i looking at no no yes yes here we are wheat 596 wheat Ugh. It's not as much as I thought we would have. Hmm. Okay. So maybe we will do winter wheat. All right. So when the season transitions, we'll change that over to winter wheat. Um, we need to go back and do some more reorganization here of our resource storage. If we can get the resource storage three unlocked, we can start upgrading the resource storage buildings. And that will help us out without, you know, a negative impact. Um, so let's take a look here because we're just 600 kilos away from max weight. That's not good. So what is it that we are loaded up on logs? Copper ore is a little on the high side, but firewood. Okay. That we can work with. All right. Firewood is right there. Let's pull some. Right. We can't move, but we can drop. Stop, drop, and roll, fool. Doink. Okay. And. All right. So 200 firewood is 1,000 BTUs. Well, have your husband bring you some decent food. That's the problem. I mean, hospital food is something they've worked to improve in a lot of cases, but it also comes up short in a lot of cases. It's very bland. It doesn't tend to have a whole lot of flavor to it, but that's because of the circumstances. You have so many people with so many different, you know, dietary needs and all that crap. Having worked in a hospital, I understand this. My mom's been in one. Dad's been in one. It's best just to have your hubby bring you stuff. I'm sure he is, but... Because if not, then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to roll tide out to South Carolina and come bring you some food. All right, um, all right. So let's uh, look at this again. So. Uh, we got a lot of flax that's got to be processed, and that's being processed, just maybe not as quick as we'd like. We're going to be putting people, uh, we're going into autumn. Autumn, actually, that means we're not going to be putting people, we, we're going to need a uh, farm worker. Yara Mira is no longer in play, so we can scratch her name off the list. 
Unold is a two in farming. We could get them in here. They're in Piastovia, so they could we could pick them up. I guess. I'd rather wait and see if we get, you know. They should still be there. And they're a 13 point NPC. Their only one is in production. Um, okay, so let's see here. Furs not weighing us down. All right, we'll pull another 200 firewood out. That's a uh, hundred kilos. And then we just have to be mindful of, and that's a thousand BTU. That's about a day's worth of use. Oh, we're actually okay. 200 firewood. Okay. That's about a day's worth for the village in wintertime. All right. We got all these seedlings. We could get those planted. That'd be swell. All these seeds, yep, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 279, that's firewood. Okay, fine, flax, we're going to process, that's fine. Got it, 607 limestone. That we can work with. Okay, all right, let me find a spot. What's, what's the problem now? What are you out of? Sewing hut, uh-oh. Fur capelet, what are you out of? Out of fur? What? Are we out of fur? I mean, obviously, we're out of fur. We're short on fur. Huh. Got plenty of fur boots. Got plenty of fur capelets. All right, so maybe we're making too many. All right, that's, that's reasonable. Okay, we can cut production there. The only problem is I can't see what it is that we... Are short on all right so you can start making linen thread and start making linen fabric actually you could also make wool thread I think but I'm not sure what I'm doing at there's linen thread five a day where, where are we making I think we're making wool thread here no we're not making wool thread at all? What am I thinking? Okay, so Sewing Hut A is focused on um, linen thread. Sewing Hut B then does not need to be focused on linen thread. They can actually work on wool thread. Okay, cool. It's not making a ton of it. All right, so let's take fur capelets out of play. We'll get some fur in here. What we need to do now is check hunting and evaluate. Aha. Raise the amount of fur you're bringing in. These folks should be bringing in meat and leather. Yes, okay. I am still the, the most efficient hunter I have. So we'll just up that amount there, and that should take care of the problem. Okay, very good. Sweet. So, greasy and not good quality. Yeah, and you're kind of at a hospital out in the sticks, aren't you? You said you live out in the sticks there. So it's probably like the only hospital in the area. So without competition, they can kind of suck and you know what are you going to do All right uh copper ore fertilizer firewood we're down 6100 iron ore um okay oh holy shnikey <laughs> i think we got enough logs all right, let's, uh, and we are getting ready to go to winter. Well, we're going to autumn. So let's make some uh, adjustments here on.
production of logs. Maybe mm, okay. She's a Metarica. Maybe we could move her out. And Zelebrot can handle the production of firewood. Hmm. Or we could supplant it. Oh, yeah, because we... Oh, that's right. I reduced... Uh, let's bring this back down. Make more planks. Okay. Um, we don't need as many logs. Okay. Well, no. You know what? We can... This is an easy fix, though. Here, go to this, and then let's just grab some logs. Nope, 40. Thank you. And we'll walk over here and keep building our log pile up. It's not very neat, I know. All right, why do we still have a production problem? I don't understand. I thought I turned off the thing we had a production problem with. Now it's in this sewing hut. You know how we can't make fur boots because we don't want, of course not. Take 16 fur and 13 leather. Um, okay. Fur. Where do we get fur? From wolves and bears. Um, hello, Haunted's House. Welcome back to the channel. How are you today? All right, so the fur, the fur boots, um, we can correct out of this. They were only making like two or three pairs a day. So let's cut that down. Wait a minute. And linen thread we can do without for a minute. Aha! You remember when I mentioned we need we could use somebody else to help farming? Eunice Law. What? <laughs> How's your farming skills? T U V Eunice Whoops. Nope. Let's go here. Nope. Go here. Eunice Law. Oh, look, your farming skills are actually pretty good. Here's the question. Can we put you in the herbalist hut for fishing? For a minute we can Henrika Henrika you got you a new job you are gonna go work in wait where does she live she's on Lee Lane so she's on the lake she needs to be in the West uh, farm shed so we'll put her in the West farm shed boom right there uh-huh okay and now, Eunice Law, the seamstress, and she lives in oh, she lives in Hamill Heights. She's up, she's up on the east side. Um, and she's working down on the west side. Oh, that's no fun. All right, guess what? You, you just got a shorter commute. You're going to the herbalist hut. There you go. Sweet. All right. So that puts. Um. That fixes our little production issue for now. And goodbye to production issue. Very good. All right, now we can move some more logs. <laughs> Let's move some logs. Nice. Playing on break. Do you work from home or something? All right. Get some of these logs offloaded here. Doink. All right, there we go. Let's make this pile neater, people. Shoot, I hate, I ran too far. I ran so far away. I just ran. Couldn't get away. I couldn't get away. Um, okay. You know what? Now might be actually a good time for us to grab one of these. Wait, do I have a hammer on me? 
Let me whip this out. Yes, I do. All right. Let's head over to the east side. We need to build another resource storage building on the east side. We've talked about this. So why not do it now? Or at least get it started. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's get it started in here. You guys know that song is actually based on a song called Let's Get Retarded? Hmm. Yeah. All right. Back in the 70s. And stuff like that didn't matter. You know, everybody didn't get butt hurt over stuff. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking we could take those two houses out there and put the houses up at this end of the field or over here. But we need a resource storage building up over up in here, up in here. Actually, this might not be the worst look. Uh, that would be stupid for it to be right in front of the field, though, wouldn't it? It would be kind of stupid. So what if we do this? First off, why don't we chuck these logs down over here? This looks like a good place to chuck them. So then we can move with purpose or a porpoise. Let's come over here. This is our new field. And let's do this. Let's we may need these stones. That one we don't need. Grab that one, that one, this one, this one. Yeah, we'll grab those. Okay. And we're gonna extend this road up the chaw. Face east. Get about there. And sure, uh, yeah, you know who needs that steak? Run the road out there. Sure, give me that stone. We may just have a regular base on this thing. Base! Uh, here we are. Boom. Get that. Cool. All right, now we're going to build a path across yonder. Okay, let's just jog this over here. Damn it, that path is not long enough. There. That. Wait, I wanted the stone. I'm going to carve away the stone. All right, face east, center up on this part of the path here. Oh, breaking the game a little bit and hopped in here. Oh, okay, cool. We appreciate you stopping by. You missed a good fight earlier, though. Just saying. We uh, came across some bandits at the uh, house north northwest of Piastovia. They got dead. All right, I'm gonna stack. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't want to go too far. I mean, at some point, the the, th the mark's going to turn red. But if you go about halfway into the, the dark gray area, the roads will... See how it kind of does this? It kind of discolors and whatever. It'll kind of help minimize that. So, all right. I left just a little bit of room there. Sweet. Okay. So, what do you all think? Should we do the resource storage there or here on the end? Da or hya. Da hya. So we're going to have our three fields here. I mean, we've got room to build additional housing. We've got a whole other street we could develop on the backside over there. So that's not the worst deal in the world. Right? Uh, wait a minute. Is it possible? Oh, wait. No, that's a house uh, laid out there. Oh, you missed a, missed a, uh, missed a fight. Missed it. M I S T A fight on the end. Think it'll look good on the end. Uh, that's all right. Excuse me. I'm gonna hopefully get a. Um, we're gonna need these stones. 
I don't want the steaks, but whatever. All right, time to chop, 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 Colonel Hogan. Now remember, if you take a potion of strength, it'll actually cut down, so to speak, the number of chops you need. Uh, wait, nope, back, doop, doop. Put together a stupid wooden shovel. I hate that, but whatever. Whatever's most convenient to get this done. Uh, slot seven, please. Okay, and there's a broadleaf plantain in that spot. Weird, huh? All right, that cleared most of the junky junk out. Uh, let's get rid of this one, true. We're gonna need all the logs we can get anyway. That was two stone right there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to my room. All right. That'll do there. And so let's position this up. So there's a road there. I think we'll be able to squeeze both these in here. All right. Let's face east. Stand in the place where you are. Now face east. Let's scoot over, and let's scoot back, and then that's close enough to the road right there, and plop, and then let's see if we got room for food storage. <gasps> I think we do. Boom, boom, boom. Obstacles blocking the building site. Is that that tree on the left? Or is there a tree behind? Oh, nope. It, it, nope. What, what is it? It's the tree on, it's this tree. I think we're good if we ditch this biatch. Remember, kids, stay away from trees until they stop moving. Friends don't let friends get hit by trees. Wait, is that how that PSA went? I don't think that's how that PSA went. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, no. Close enough. Facing east. Shift to the left. Slide to the right. Do the hippie shake shake with all of my, your might. That'll do, pig. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, it's that's right up against the path. Okay, very good. All right. that uh, yeah I forget that the plotted footprint where the posts are that's the key all right so we need like three more stones here you you and you just volunteered that um, do the roof first and the ends the gables here so we'll have to go get more logs and plant this take like 82 logs insane number of logs all right there's that Do the interior last. That's just a pain in the butt. All right, there we go. All right, so we need 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 41. We need 41 logs. Okay, cool. Road trip. And we're going to need like how many planks? I'd like to get this done in one thing. Six, so we need 30 planks. So we, have I got that right? Five. Hold on. Let me just stand inside here. We know that's, oh, we got, and then we need these too. 
four logs there for the interior. All right, so that's effectively five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 logs. And 30 planks. Okay. So that means potion of wait time, and we hope that we can make this work. How are we doing time-wise here? Oh, 1701. It's like the Starship Enterprise. In case you hadn't seen it, Haunted uh, haunted House, here's my bathing area up here in this portion of the village. Got some towels over there, place to put your clothes on. Um, if you campfire to heat up water, then you get the tub, soap, and then all the little accoutrements over here. Plus, there's leather on the, on the ground, so you don't have to stand on the stones with your wet feet and whatever. Probably I'll put a couple more here so it leads over to that. But anyway, that's that. Boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way oh, way oh. Uh, shoot, I've lost track. How many do we need? 35 or 45 logs? 45, isn't it? Oh, shoot. What the hell? Mm. Last hour of the day, people. Can you not just do your jobs and... Oh, this is on. Wait, no, it's not. That's not on me at all. Somebody ran out of something. All right, so we need 40 plus 5. I think we need 45. And if we have extra, then that can go to the uh, food storage. And then we need 30 planks. We can move. We can't move fast. But we can move. Sidestep. Good. Sip of water real quick. Okay. Shoot. We missed we missed an opportunity. That's okay. Ed. We got I think we got more cows than we need. We're going to have to set up a slaughterhouse set up here come next season. Why is that stick there? Hey, I, that's great. I appreciate that. I don't think my wife would, but... All right. Let's go, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. All right, so they're getting these fields ready. And that's great. So that means everything should be set for autumn. I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do more work here. Okay, that field's in pro... Oh, no. That's fully planted. This field is being processed. Yeah. So one of them is fertilizing it, and the other is hoeing it, or tilling it, or grubbing it, whatever you want to call it. Then this field is in the process of being uh, tilled, and then it'll be done. So, yeah. Okay, but the point is, boom, that's done. All right, cool. All right, so first thing we want to do here is that. That, that activates Tier 1 on our Builder Trance. Okay. Tier two, tier three. Now we're building at full speed. Now we're no longer encumbered. that part so 
Sweet. There's an additional 2,000 kilograms of weight available. Okay, we're empty on logs. That's fine. It'll make things easier to build over here. And so, we can get rid of these. And we can get rid of these. We can get rid of this. Get rid of that. So we're back down to, eh, about where we should be weight-wise. All right. So, is there anything we need to do here at the end of the season? I don't think so. What we could do, because it is after eight or six o'clock, okay? So work is done for the day. We got a couple things we can do here. Okay, so um, what we can do is go into management and go into our field setup. And this cabbage field, we know this is our typical field we, we do. Um, you know what? Actually, I think we're going to change E6. Is this E6 here? It is. I think we're going to make that our winter wheat field because that would make sense right it's right next to resource storage right next to the mill hmm imagine that 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 makes all the sense in the world um so this here we're going to change to wheat stop field editing Oop, nope stop field editing escape and accept cool so now, once they get done fertilizing that field, they'll go ahead and plant it in autumn for winter wheat, which will harvest next summer. We were going to do that in this field, but then, eh, that's a rapid turn time on the field. This field's going to, I mean, it's already, you know, a portion of the way fertilized. Right? Actually, it's mostly fertilized. As opposed to mostly dangerous or all right, cool. So that takes care of that. The other thing we can do, being it's close to the end of the season, is shift over um, Herbalist Hut, what they're doing, because that stuff will be out of season. Thistle and Henbane will be no more. And we're not going to bother with... Um, Dandelions will be out of season. St. John's Wort and, Bland and Broadleaf Plantain are still available. Um, the mushrooms come into play, but I want to see how many we've got. And uh, I think they're in food storage. Okay, so there's bitter belay mushrooms. Eh. We're not really making anything with them. Fly garrick. Yeah, I don't care. If they rot, they rot. You really, there's not many potions that need those. And they'll be good for another couple of seasons. Yeah, um, I could. Um, but, I mean, it's end of the day for me too, right? So, field eight, this one is almost done. Okay, E5. All right, fine. You talk me into it. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So, let me grab, grab this hoe. Wait, what? Let's grab a bag. We need uh, just a handful of fertilizer. Maybe... 10 of it or so, I think. And then we need... That's it. That's all we need. I mean, unless I want to do the seeding in the field myself, but I don't need my... Um, to... I can grab a hoe. 
12, we need 16 fertilizer. Okay, so let me get a hoe and 16 fertilizer. I got 10. So. Wait a minute, do I have any bronze hoes? I don't, that's okay. I'm trying to think if we're actually selling that can go slot seven. Okay, slot two. There we go. We're in the right spot. Okay, good. Because my, you know, my farm skill is maxed out. The only thing here is I make it easier on my people. They're going to stay in the farming field. We'll just put them back into the barn or, you know, put them in the animal uh, deal. I mean, it's a crappy job, but somebody's got to do it, right? <laughs> All right. So now we just got to hoe this biatch. And then it's going to be autumn. It's going to be you. Anybody want to put odds on if we have a baby born? I think we have five couples. That's interesting. What is that? Oh, I think there were onions in this field, so maybe that's like onion peels or something. That's a nice little detail, you know, they just throw some scraps of something that was in the field previously. Schmutz. You know, it's left over from the harvest. I like it. All right, E6 is done. E6 Shinkansen. This was a flax field. You can see the schmutz left over from the flax. Ladies are like, what is Master A-Train doing? Doing our jobs? Making your life easier. So shut it. Yeah, stuff. Cool. There's that. There's that. Um, should we, should we, should we, should we, should we? Sure we should. Of course we should. Whip this out. Swing and a miss. Oh, we need stone walls for this now. I forgot about that. No, damn it. I don't want to. That's what I want. I don't want ah, dang it. Didn't want to finish the interior until I to last. It's just a pain in the butt. It just gets in the way. Okay, so we need 24 planks and a crap ton of stone. <laughs> what the hell? No? Oh, it shifted. Oops. 
Fat fingers. Bets on two births. Okay. 24. And then we need a bunch of stone. see the roof from that side can we see from here can we see it from here can we see it from here nope jerks dumbass who built the interior too early I don't know George So we need 16 more stone. almost worked all right cool all right it is uh, almost midnight so let's head back to the house to the hizzle I have a feeling that even I would make up all right so we're gonna have a winter wheat field to plant two beetroot fields to uh, sow or reap um, yeah I'm dirty and I know I'm going to get clean but you know what it's a principal thing plus I got to put on my uh, autumn gear change out our short sleeve tunic and shoes trousers with actually we'll keep the trousers with cuffs on for now put on the simple tunic and go back to our noble boots Sleep in your bed every night for the entire year. All right. Hello, darling. Hello, kingdom. Building the settlement need Goodbye. repair. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot about that. <laughs> Always do. We got to upgrade stuff. Um, so, 
Let's see where we're at. Bets on two births, and we have zero. Damn. What in the ass do we got to do to get these people to start getting jiggy? You know? Skybora is about to pop four. So that would make that 10, 20, 30. She'll be 30, 30 point NPC. Ricky's still the queen with 32 points. Farming apparently has been nerfed. That sucks. Well, you lost that bet. That sucks. <sighs> what do you do? What do you do? So we got buildings that need repair. What do you want to bet that's the farm? The West Farm Shed. Because I don't think I... Oh, it's not any of the farm sheds. What? Oh, no. Come back. No. Ah, oh, excavation shed. Of course. All right. So that's going to need some repair. And if we get some daub... I don't know if we have much daub. We can... Of course, I ran over here with the assumption that we only need straw for the roof. We're going to go make some daub here in a minute, though. All right, that shed is right here. And we do this. And do this. is that oh it is all insulated well gee many Christmas that sucks okay uh, well you know what then the easy way to <coughs> figure this out is just gonna be go back and ask the wife I should bring my relatives over. <laughs> my love. Yeah. The workers need more tools. Goodbye. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> what do the what tools do the workers need? Oh shoot. Oh, dang it. Yeah, let's just get poisoned. Stupid ass. I didn't frickin' remember to give her the food. Alright. Um See, that poisoning wore off really quick. So, not a big deal. Workers need more tools. Axes. I bet axes are the issue. How uh, much you want to bet? I bet axes are the issue. I bet they aren't the issue. <laughs> yeah, no. That is not the issue. Three, six, nine. Get nine of them. Yep, you've already got one here. You've got one here. Workers need more tools. I uh, gotta check pickaxes too. Oh, this is empty. There would be an issue. We have a production issue though. Huh. Work hasn't even started for the damn day yet. Oh, okay. Maybe it just started. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, well, that may answer our question then. What seems to be the problem, officer? The mine. No tool. All right, we're going to fix you up. Yep, he's used up the iron pickaxes even. All right, so there is a bunch of iron ore. Clear some of this out. Okay. Before the people get over here.
I don't have time for woohoo time. They have the same amount of time everyone else does. Woohoo time. <laughs> uh, what do we need for iron pickaxes? All right, so we need ten logs. Doing the same thing every day. Ten logs. That takes care of that. Always double check if there aren't any on the tree. And that should take care of that. Boom confetti. Problem solved. Alright. And you know what? I'm thinking about it. We probably ought to just do that again. You know? That that takes that that clears out a bunch of the iron ore weight. We need a multiple of four. So fifty two is thirteen. And then we need thirteen logs. Damn it. Excuse me. I'll tell you. Find something else to do. You should hire a private wagoner to carry your things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Smart ass. I'd hire a private wagoner for the village if the tabs would get on that. It's a placeable, guys. Come on. Really? All right, hang on. Let me go look and see if the other one's open. There we go. But at this point, I'd love to have a loveless one at least. Shit. It's only making six. Why did I math wrong there? How did I math that wrong? Oh, six times eight, 48. Huh? Right, whatever. Let's throw the other crap back. Let's throw it back. I goofed the math up there somehow. Okay, fine. Right, that's that's plenty. Okay, I think they're set now. Let me um, let's go check the milk situation because this is going to be curious. We have lots of buckets of soured milk. Do we have a bunch of rot in here now? We do. We don't have a bunch, but let's get that out of here. No, oh, blockhead. Oh, that cheese is no good either. Crap. Okay. Um, all right. No problem. All right. We got 17. Oh, okay. So this number's counting down. Okay. Got it. So all the milk soured. Okay. All right. That's cool. It's casual. Um, here's what I want to do. That's 15. Oh, oh we have an... Uh, oh, that works. <laughs> Settle down, A-Train. Yeah, I know. I know. But now we can get rid of the odd number of milk. Buckets of milk. This is no good. This is no good. That's no good. Okay, cool. All right, so here's what we need to do. I have a plan. Yes, I know. Custer had a plan. Yes, I know. I know. We got an absolute butt ton of these. Okay. That gets rid of all that. Right? Yep. Cool. Yeah, we need to sell more wicker crates. I think we're going to need to open up more. Uh, who sells the wicker crates? Is that a... Who sells the wicker crates? D who sells the wicker crates? I didn't stutter and your ears didn't flap. Who sells the wicker crates? 
There's the hand lantern. Mm-hmm. Oh, wicker crates are under general stuffs. We don't have a deal for that. Maybe it's time for a deal for that, which means we need somebody in here to sell it. Okay, so let me solve our problem first, which is to reset the deal I set up over here. To th Wait a minute. No, the basket needs to be over here. We drop crappy food in. And then it can rot. And then we can, and I can just carry it over and... I'll do. Oh, nice. Hang on. This is going to work out. Give me this. And give me that. I'm a quiet night on the stream tonight, huh? Where the hell is everybody? All right, there's fertilizer. We don't need that here. Okay, so now we can go. We can leave the rot. Actually, we'll take the rot back over there. That would make more sense. All right, now let's dump all the jank food over here. Because of the taxes or what? Christ, I've got all the freaking bread you want, okay? Um, X, E, F. Doink. X, doink. Really, bird? That's a bird with a death wish right there. Ungins, blop. Roasted fish meat. Damn it. Let that go bad. That's okay. We got tons of it. Okay. That. No, I don't use compost bins. Why not? Because I don't. All right, and then the rot rot can just go in here too. Okay, cool. That should clean us all up of janky junk. Rye bread's still good. Okay, cool. Uh huh. Okay, so we need to go dump the fertilizer off. And then, all right, take care of that. Apples are still good. So we got apples and rye bread. So we need to pick up, we need to get rid of this. Damn it. No, not that, that. No, oh, that's what I did. I was hitting the X to drop it. All right, we're combat light, which is good. Really combat light. We're, we're light. Okay. We have the fields laid out where we want them. That's good. I believe. Uh, what I want is some roasted fish meat. tide roll time to go on a quick expedition let's check the fields make sure we get all of our oh wait did we set up we did not set up what the herbalist is supposed to be doing this season we did not uh making potions that's what we want her to do potions of weight is our favorite that's number one Make two a day, sure. Potions of strength is next. Cool. We don't have any mead. Hmm. Make some poison, sure. Uh, 
and then stamina, potion of health, potion of That'll work. Sebo, hello. How are you today? All right. I think that's good. I think we're set. So he's clearing out. This is the... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. I said I think we're set. We're not set. All right. So we got the winter wheat that needs to be planted. Carrots are clear. Cabbage needs to be harvested. Beetroot needs to be harvested. Flax is all good. This field is now in the process of being harvested. So let's switch it over for rye. Hit stop field editing, escape, and accept. Cool. So now he'll replant that for rye. So they're turning this field, planting this field, turning this field. Um harvesting these three fields and then prepping them for spring which is no big deal because you got two seasons we're not going to do carrots here so south barn three mm, what are we going to do with this field or are we going to do anything with this field because i think south barn one and two oh shoot Um, we might take out the, the two South Barn fields and replace them with orchards. Of course, we've lost, you know, they're now fertilized. You know what, then? We should not do that. We should let get one more growing season out of them. And then we'll uh, take them out. So let's switch this over to flax for the spring. Or cabbage or onions or poppy poppy won't harvest all the fall let's do cabbage cabbage stop field editing thank you cool all right so come summertime when these two fields harvest we'll then and remind me as we go into summertime I mean yeah, next summer, we will need to set those two fields to no crop, and that way they won't turn them. Watching a podcast? Oh, no worries, bud. It's all good. We appreciate you being here. All right, so that said, it is, so we got nobody pregnant. That sucks. Uh, oh, Alina is now a uh, level 10 whoa we need to move her somewhere else don't we good god so she's a t wait 10 22 30 oh she's now number two in the in the village what she's number two she's number two she's number two right nine and ten no she's 28 nope so she's number three Uh, Skybor is still number two. She's 29 points, and she's about to be 30. Yep, she's going to be 30 points. So she's 10, 29. Alina is 10, 19, 28. So she's number three. Okay. Who's this? Gerard. He's 10, 20. 31 points. <gasps> he's actually number two in the village. And he's young too, 24. Plus he's in a house with another, with a woman. Dude, get busy. <laughs> Bruh, 
Killing me. Uh, all right, so we need to move her somewhere else. And Bolslaw, uh, Bolslawa would work. Alruna now is a three in hunting, so we could actually swap her out to something else as well. That would help. Because um, you look at Dargorad. Dargo, he needs to get this hunting up. And that's what we were waiting for. We were waiting for someone. I see we got a couple people. We can now swap out. Good. Okay. So let's let's swap uh, people here. Let's see. So she's a four. And then he would take over. No, we don't want Dover Miller to take that spot. Dargo Rad could take that spot. But we'd rather him go to hunt. Oh, my God. This is getting convoluted. But I want to get these people leveled up. Train, you're playing a new beta for update of Sengoku Dynasty. It drops on March 12th. Um, we could do that. It's been a minute since I've played. <laughs> It's been six plus months since I've played, I think. I mean, I played the first month or so it came out, and it was like, uh, Medieval Dynasty was just calling me back. It really was. Okay. So let's, let's get this sorted here. Let's move. Let's swap these two, Alina and Bolslawa. Okay. So she's in Farm Shed East. Oh, that works easy. Okay, let's see where Alina's located. She's in Hamill Heights. Well, that works out well. So we're going to move her to Farm Shed East. And Bolslawa then can move. Is where does she live? Autumn Lane. Very good. We haven't seen Jen A in a while. What happened to Jen A? Uh, she can move into the open stall, which is right there. Sweet. Okay. So now, now is working. Wait. Well, Slava didn't need to move into the stall. <clears throat> oh, well, okay. She needs to move here, if anything. But he doesn't need to be here. Um... Okay, let's consider Norman the Fisher. Storm and Norman, have you been catching any fish? Holy crap, you couldn't catch the crabs right now. Wait, what? <laughs> um, okay, we got some hunters. We got some hunters to swap. Okay, Lechislawa still sucks, but it's getting there. The threes need to come out of the hunting lodge and swap to somewhere where they're not so strong. Ew. That was her only real weak point. She could go into production. Ah, yes. Dargarad, he needs to go into, excuse me, the hunting lodge. She's in hunting lodge west, which is full. Oh. Okay. Um, he's going to Hunting Lodge West, right? We got that straight? I, got, I need to keep that straight. So let's just put him here. Okay. Dargarad. And she... Needs to go to the Seamstress Hut A, is it? Okay, right. And then Dargarad, he goes to Hunting Lodge West. Cool. Okay, now we've got another one we can move here. Alruna, <coughs> she could move. She could swap with Domrads. Yep, that works there too. Or he could swap with Dovamilla, one or the other. I think I'd rather get him. Uh, 
Aruna could go to. Okay, so Aruna and Domrad Domrads is in the fold. Okay, so Aruna. We now move to. The donkey shelter and domrads we move to uh, the hunting lodge that has an opening that'd be there and then alruna then moves see family she see relationship husband so she's set that keeps her close to home too Okay, so we got relationship husband. This is good. Hang on, because Berard. Okay, here we go. Hi, Lee. Welcome aboard. Okay. Always have the lurkers, yes. Okay, I think we just figured this out. Autumn, did you see that? Do you see what I see? When we double click on Berard, this is what comes up. Simple small house and fishing hut, right? Two people in the house, right? But Dargarad, the hunter, wait, no. Who was it? Domrad's the hunter. No. Who the hell were we looking at? Alruna. Alruna. Husband. Huh? So they're married. So then I would expect that they will look at getting pregnant at some point. That may be what we have to establish, right? It's, oh, Dread, Dreadnought's hanging out there. Uh -huh. Hey, Dread, what's happening, bud? Okay, so I think now we're seeing how this works. I think they have to, it's one thing if you pair them up together. It's another thing if they, you know, are married. So if we go to Stronislawa, see, she and Zelebrot are married. So now I would think that their potential, I mean, his mood's 80%, hers is 76. What are y'all waiting for? Get busy. You know? Nita Mira needs to come out, whatever she's doing. What is she, craftsman? Holy crap. Oh, here we go. We're going to swap her out. Well, Storm and Norman's dinking around. Minor. So she's in the... She, shoot. Who are we just looking at? Nita Mira. She could go back in the far. Actually, she needs to go into fishing. And Norman's dinking around with it. Who's our other fisher person? Oh, Smyslawa needs to get go fish too. Unislaw, we just moved her in. Don't we have two fishermen? Aha! There it is, Berard. You know what? Berard and... Um... I think she's the only one in the workshop. Yep. Okay, this works. So Berard goes to the workshop. And she goes to the fishing hut. And then we hit the road. Nita Mira goes to the fishing slut hut. Don't get a red snapper. Wait, what? All right, cool. That moves some moves some numbers around. Good show. We don't need that right now. Okay, now we go on a recruiting trip. So, now the question. Wait before we <laughs> before we go too far. Okay, so our couple should be why? Wait, no, Alruna and Milobad. And I think so. They are husband and wife. That's good. Stronazal, Slawa, and Zelebrot were our two unicorns. They are husband and wife. So that takes us to Y Slawa and Presmir. That's our old couple, I think. Yeah. But they are married. 
And then Dobislawa and Berard are shacking up. Yep, so they're shacking up, but they're not married yet. Okay, very good. That's four couples. I thought we had one more. Well, we have my my couple. Hey, Q, what's shaking? Your E key broke on your laptop? Did Wait, did the key break or did it just pop out? I mean, was it like a, a Tara Reed nip slip kind of deal? It just popped out? I know that's funny. Okay, do let me go back to houses then. All right, move that up, move that up, move this down. Okay, all right, we got a couple in this house. Smyslaw on Dargarad. Ah, I didn't have them write down, written down. There we go. That's right, because they were the two new FNGs we brought in and paired up immediately. Smy, Smiley Slaw. Part of the Slava clan in the backwoods of Arkansas, Poland, excuse me, Poland. And Dar Gorad, who's probably a distant cousin because Arkansas. Wait, what? All right, so they're paired up now. So the question is are they husband and wife? Uh, wait, no, no, no. No. Damn it, Davis. And I don't think they are. Okay, so they are not. Okay. So, these two are married. I'll put an M in parentheses. They're married. And these are these two. Are, okay, so we got two couples who are shacking up. We got three couples, four couples who are married. We're trying to get some kids born up in here. How big is the MD gene pool? Well, look at all the Slawa clan we got going here. Bolslawa, Boslawa, ba ba da da da, uh, Dobislawa, three, Gochislawa, Gochis Slawa, four, Lectoslawa, that's five. You know, I think I've been avoiding them. Smyslawa, that's six. Stormislawa, seven. Ubislawa, eight. Wheelieslawa, nine. Wieslawa, ten. We slawa, we slawa, da 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 da. Uh, 11, 12. 12 members of our freaking village, last name are slawa of some sort. Yeah, they're part of the all in the family clan for Arkansas. <clears throat> Move birds. Okay, let's go check the board. Fresh hot quests on the board. Everyone's reporting in the work now. I show up in town. All right, what do we got here? We still got the same ones that we haven't. Oh, knife swindler on us. That's pretty straightforward. Okay. That's very straightforward. Okay. That's easy. Oh, oh, twelve rabbits. Oh no, we're not messing with that. An iron saw. Dang. Okay, we can hook this, 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 and this. Screw hunting the rabbits. That's a pain in the ass. All right. Uh, the kid just said, I'm a bear. Moo! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my, that's... It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Terrible, terrible, terrible. You can spell it T U R R I B L E. Terrible. Like Charles Barkley. Terrible. Okay, people. There's only three of y'all here. Please tell me y'all aren't all porn stars Trouble and suck. Star. All very well. Let's oh, Unold, he's been around. All right, so we know Unold here. He's okay. He's a 13 point NPC. We might use we'll him. Work for food and water and some firewood. Oh, Rika, I like your name. <gasps> Yes, we will take you. Hooray. Welcome aboard. 
All right. She's a 14 point NPC. Hell yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, Rika. All right. Where are we going to put her? Um, we need to put her somewhere to work on these twos. She's in the terrible twos. Terrible, terrible. And since there's work to be done in the fields, let's go ahead and slap her in one of the barns or something. But first, uh, 2nd Street 11. Yep, I think that'll be just fine. Or she could be further up 2nd Street. Yeah, that's fine too. Let's put her there. Okay. At least I have my phone. <laughs> They're all slawas. All right, so not bad. Not a unicorn, but just a point off of being a unicorn. That's not bad. Um, you know something? Hold on. Hold, please. Ulrika. Ulrika von Lichtenstein. 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 Um, let's go services. I could have probably done this different, but is it the deli? No, it is production bakery. Honeycomb. Oh, honeycomb is rolling out pretty quick. So you know what? Uh, you know what? We need Ulrika in, I think, the West Farm Shed. What's, what's the chant? Um... Oh, we got three people in West. Well, know what? You can go in East Farm Shed then. Cool. Get busy. Something. He's something. He's really, really fine. Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. What's the chant from? Uh, oh, he's a 12 point NPC. He doesn't totally suck. Oh, Rico, excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I'm on a mission. You better just listen. To my rhymes because I'm all about dissing guys. Hey, he's fine. He's really, really fine. Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. Why are trees getting naked before the wind? Um, where are they falling? Oh, excuse me, kid. Get out of the way. You should wear a blinking light on your head if you're going to walk around and be shorter than me. Uh, okay, unicorn. I, 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 a unicorn is someone that has 15 skill points or better that's that's what i consider a unicorn in the game i found seven two 17 point people and one 16 point so she's a point shy of being a, a, a unicorn all right all right let's run through the quest list real quick see what we need to gather up here for a scythe we need an iron scythe i think we got one of those how do we not have one of those son of a how do we not have a freaking iron scythe people all right just give me what i need three four iron bars four i think and a log and a steak Okay, let's run next door here. We should be able to use this. Yep, cool. And iron tools and iron sight. Thank you. That's why it helps to have. I mean, there's three work positions in the smithy. Oddly enough, you know, there's three work positions in the sewing hut too, but you can't use all three until. I mean, you, you never went well because the tier three only has two people. Okay, so that takes care of that one. Hang on. Journal. Looking for a scythe is now covered. Okay, knife swindler among us. Eh, no. Blockhead. Knife swindler. Three iron knives and seven bronze kniffles. Okay, three iron knives and seven bronze kniffles. Three iron knives and seven bronze knives. <gasps> it occurs to me knives could be an issue. It occurs to me knives could be an issue.
We might be. I haven't. I haven't restocked the. Uh, I have not restocked the hunting lodges in a while, and we're not producing knives. <gasps> Could be why our people suck. Why? Rhymes with stride. Okay, we need three iron. Okay, I can ditch those two, so that's two of the three right there. So then I can put eight of these back, because I'm going to need one. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, good. So now that puts uh, knives in storage. You were trying to skin your boar and it felt funny? Uh, okay, so now we need bronze. Ooh, we got bronze bars. Seven, and then we need steaks. Great, we're going to be out of steaks here before too long. Uh oh. Hmm. We might have to go gather some steak. Oh, it's only one per. Problem solved. Oh. I'm so glad I settled down here. Good. Settle down. Find find a man and get jiggy. Okay. That should take care of that quest. So let's ditch the steak we picked up. And drop back and punch. Okay. Knife swindler among us. Okay, that takes care of that. Shovel taker. We need 10 bags and an iron shovel. Well, there's 12 bags. Let's take 10 of those. Wait. There. Always give... All, it, just take crappy stuff. An iron shovel. I don't think we have an iron shovel. Nope. Damn it. Okay, what do we need for an iron shovel? Like four iron bars and a log. Two logs, maybe. Ah, perfect. Shoot. It's weird. You get to the more advanced tools, right? And it's less sticks, but more logs. That's weird. That's weird. Just weird. Weird, wild stuff. Uh, what do we need here? Journal. Shovel taker. Make the market great again. Five wool fabric. Yes. Other things we need to make great again. Wool fabric. Five. Boom. Done. Got it. On our way. <laughs> you can't type out Best Buy. <laughs> oh my god, that sucks. Too bad it's not to buy more. It, I, I was gonna, well, that was dumb. I was going to say type in Dell PCs. Oops, that wouldn't work either. Um, oh, hey, doofus. Dude, seriously, stop. Derwin. Got scythe, done. See you around. Hey. How is life treating you? There. Have a good day. Hello. Thank her. Oh, it's you again. Oh, it's me again. Oh. See you around. All right, so now we got a fourth deal. It's this way. Nope, must have passed. Ah, oh, here he is. How do you do? Shoveling bags. Have a good day. Psh, psh, psh. Ugh. All right, cool. So that takes us up to 16,999 Dynasty Rep. Repping it here, people. We're repping it. All right, let's rep it. All right, where are we going first? 
Oh, it's you again. Yes, it's me again. Klonika, Ostoya, Skalki. One, two, three. Where are we going? And then we'll go either clockwise or counterclockwise from that point. Klonika, Ostoya, or Skalki. Skunky. Come on, people. One, two, three. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. We'll go clockwise from that point. Light coming out of their mouths? I didn't notice that, but you know we don't want it. We don't want to complain about bugs at this point because they ain't going to fix them, right? It'd have to break. It'd have to be a a broken game bug. We are in Piestovia. <laughs> we started in Piestovia, goof. We got to go to one of the other towns. Oh, good night, Lee. Thanks for hanging out. Please give us a like before you go. You have two wives? No, we're not Mormons. This is not Utah. I mean, there's enough Arkansas in here with all the the names that match up all right where are we going first we already went to piastovia skulk skunky all right we're going to skunky and then we'll go to klonica and then to ostoya cool on our way oh there's some people i see some people i've been sober since last autumn all right that's good mildreda all right, Mildred. Travelers show, of this tell realm. me something Drones good. Oh, she's a freaking like straight two. Myself. Look at that. Okay, she's straight twos. Hello. We're gonna talk to her. Watch this. Uh, tell me something about your skills. I have a feeling we're I'm a person of many abilities. I can't say I find any jobs to be more difficult or easier than others. Just give me the right tool and I'll manage. That's it. So that's what you get if someone comes across with all the same thing. If they're all twos, which uh, it's it's rare. Okay, anything give you a hard time? Same answer. Otherwise, whatever they're best at will be the answer to tell me something about your skills and whatever they're worst at will be does anything give you a hard time? I'm an experienced traveler. Have a good Especially. day. All right, bro. Walbert. When nobody's watching. Uh, he's average, okay. Ber Bernadetta, ooh, please, Bernadetta, please be good. Please be Why? good. No, oh, she sucks. Why? God, Bernadetta, stick with porn. I don't think so. Oh my God, look at that, gang. She's an eight-point well, NPC. You can't can get I much worse you? than this. I get a I'm gonna put you on the bus back to the frickin' valley. You need to learn to do something besides suck at everything. Okay, goodbye. Damn it, I like the name, and she's a redhead too. She would have been prime candidate had she not sucked at everything. Look, what? That's two. The settlements these days develop so fast. Have you heard about the new village? So it's probably going to become a city. Okay, hold up. Baldemir is straight twos. How do you do? There you go. Person of many abilities. He's a Baldemir of all trades. See you soon. I've always wanted to live in a town. More people make life so much more fascinating. She's 27. Food, he's 18. And water, That's too bad. If they were closer in age, uh, we... Olaf. Wood, Come on, Olaf. Uh, roof over my head, Come on, bud. Be... be Damn. Uh, Am nope. I too demanding? No. Nope. Yeah, you are. You're too, oh, you're too demanding. You heard Why don't you escort uh, Bernadetta back to the valley and get some skills and come back and see me? I want to hire Olaf because he got a cool name. Just like I want to hire Bernadetta because she had a cool name. Okay, well, these two need to go then. Mildreda, do you do? you're out of here. I like your name too. Straight Mildred would be better, but that's okay. Goodbye. And Baldemar. Go, <laughs> Baldemar. I don't even know her. Oh. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, it is. Why don't you follow uh, Home Chick there? Escort the rest of them and take them back to the valley and get your skills up. Take a little blue pill. It'll get something up. Walbert, well, 
You're average. I'm not looking for average. I'm looking for better than average. Should we... Wait, what time is it? Ah, oh, damn, it's late in the day. Nope, I don't want to fart around. Round, round, fart around. I fart around. All right, How is clockwise means we go to Klonica next. Donnie's back. Gingers are the bomb. Yep, love, love gingers. Bro, are you stuck How can I help on you? stupid or something? Roaming bandits, okay. What's the problem with bandits? Oh, they scare away, scare away big game. Farewell. Nice talk. Oh, good. That that triggered him. That's why I did that. Excuse me, dude. Check. Oh, cleared him. All right, we got some new schlubs here. Sometimes I wish we could turn back time. I'd make Erica, mine. all right. And Erica's average. Boo. Uh, Ostrobod, like you suck. Oh, it's you again. You yeah, you're hired and fired. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Dude is two, four, six, nine points. Uh. Nailbore, you're average. No, you're below average. Three three two one one one. Boo. How do you do? Back to the valley you go. It's back to the valley you go. Hi ho, cheerio. It's back to oh, the valley you see go. You again. Uh, led, 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 Lederg. Have a good day. Lederg. Oh, Lederg. Thirteen point NPC, but one three on the ledger. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, maybe. Let's um, see if we get lucky here. Let's run our ass up the path here. Excuse me, fellas. Coming by on your left. Beep, beep. Any chance? Any chance? Any chance? Don't see it. Not happening right now. Come on, res in. Res in. Code in. Code in. Not coding in. Any jerk offs up at the cave mouth? No? Sucks. Damn it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's head over to Ostoya. <sighs> okay, well, we got one good recruit. An old is a 13 point. Rec now, here's the thing. So, here's my question. To the uh, panel. So Lederg is a three, two, 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 right? So he's a 13 point NPC. We have Unold, who is over at Piastovia, who's also a 13 point NPC, but he's a three, two, two, three, two, one. Which would you take? Um, the key is your graphics card. A one terabyte SSD is fine. You're going to want 16 to 32, if not more, uh, RAM, probably 32. And then the 12 gigabyte GeForce, that should, that should get it done. So Steve-O thinks, uh, all twos, one, three. Steve-O thinks that the the guy with no one over here would be the better choice as opposed to unold. 
who has one one on his resume, but has two threes on his resume. And they both have, excuse me, a three in extraction. So really, I mean, they're pretty, pretty equaled up. How is life treating you? Okay. Eighteen thirty-eight. We ain't got a lot of time. We're gonna check down here real quick, and I guess we can wait till tomorrow. Air quotes tomorrow. Um, we can go hunt the uh, wizard. No, the camp's not here. The bird walking through where it would be. There's two campsites that'll appear here. But this is the bigger of the two. All right. Damn it. Maybe the uh, ambush is set up. Blop. Oh, hey, nobody's answered the, um, it doesn't take any longer, it just costs more money. The distance is further, but, okay, here we go. Let's start here. B ugh. Buds. Travelers of this realm are drawn to the bonfires like moths. She below average. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, you're a slawa. We don't need another slawa on the community you got three ones you suck boo um tell you where the bandit spawns are well it does change but how can i help you everything is see you soon oh it's you again Oh, here we go. Here we go. 14 points. Do, 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 do. There you go, gang. Mesabir. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's check this chick here. Real quick. Leopolda. I like her name. <gasps> Woo! 15 points. We found a unicorn, boys and girls. <laughs> well, I, wait. No, actually, a unicorn isn't 15. I don't it's get 16. why some people I don't like to like say 15 or higher. Fish. I could eat them all the time. Nine and six hey, is fifteen. Hand me a fish wine and I'll all right. that a try. Man, look at that. A fourteen point and a fifteen point. Maybe I'll start. I've been And we so can pronounce her name too. She's not a slawa. How are you? I have a feeling you're hired. In the valley. All right. Let's give Leopolda a house. We could match you. We could match her up with someone. We could match her up with someone. Except, uh, shoot. Oh, do we want to stick her in with Rob? She's uh, twenty-three. He's twenty. Unislaw. He's not matched up with anyone. Do we want to match her up with someone or just put her in the house by herself? Oh, we didn't answer the um, question of the day, but hang on. We'll come back to that. We need to, we need to figure this out here real quick. All right. Do we want to put Leopolda by herself or do we want to go ahead and match her up with someone and we try to generate like, Rossignew seems like a likely candidate because he's three years younger than she is. Eunice Law would work as well. He's three years older than she is. 
Zelebrot's already married. He's up on Hamill Heights. Oh, wait. Is Janae on a vacation or something? Didn't she say she's on vacation? I'm kind of surprised we hadn't seen Adele either. I started early today. Uh, I know. I know what I'm saying. When I was 18 in college, I was hooking it up with a 31-year-old woman, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not saying what I'm saying. So, here you go, guys. Here's, here's a quick question for you. All right, first off, let's get this answered. Um... matcher we need the spawns to start growing okay so do we want to match her with unislaw or with S oh wait soby rod hooked up no i guess it's going to be either soby rod he's 26 or unislaw wait i thought there was a 20 year old dude oh there it is okay yeah Okay, so we can hook him up with hook her up with Rossignew, Sobirod, or Sullet, um, or Unislaw. So let's check the numbers here real quick. And looking at it, Unislaw is probably gonna be the better bet. Rossignew is still fairly new. You see his numbers, three three two, four three two. Sobirod's a five five three five three five, which is strong. But Unislaw is a six three four three two three. And that's on her weaker side. She's a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So we know she's strong on the backside. <laughs> I think Unislaw may be a good good fit for her. Hmm. That's what she said. Oh, have I not assigned Ulrika to a job? All right, so I think I think this is gonna be our best bet. Let's hook her up with this guy. He is in Hamill Heights 07. So we're gonna stick her with him. Let them figure it out. Okay, and then we gotta assign her a workplace. Now the question is, where are we gonna put her to work? And she could start in mining or farming. I thought she said she was going on vacation. Donnie, does that uh, offend your, your virgin ears? <laughs> uh, where are we going to put her? Animal breeder. Oh, you know what? We don't have anyone working the pig pens right now, do we? Or the donkey shelter. Let's have her work the pig pigsty. That'll work her farming numbers. Okay, cool. Now we gotta go to the pigsty. Now where's where's Ulrika? We didn't assign her a job either. Oh, uh, you know something? I think we got a job for her. She can work the other pigsty. And then we'll figure it out from there. All right, cool. So now they both have homes. They both have jobs. Now we just got to... They took her gerbs. We got to give them work to do, which is <laughs> scoop the poop. Which means now we're going to have tons of manure coming in. But, and the pigs, you know something? Actually, I'll, we need to rethink this. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now anyway. 
Your animals won't die if you don't feed them. Point number one. Point number two, they won't mate if you don't feed them. But we're already maxed out on pigs. So, hmm. We got to set up the slaughterhouse is what we need. I mean, Charlotte's the old maiden. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Any more. Now, we could pick up Mesimir. What do you guys think? 14 point. I mean, he's basically the same as she is, except he doesn't have the Diplomacy 3. But that we know that's easy to get. He's 24. Agnes, is she hooked up? She's not hooked up with anybody. Yeah, go for more RAM. 16 to 32. Now, here's the other thing to think about, Q. Is the is it expandable? Right? So if if you have does it have one? 16 gig RAM slot and then there's a second one available so you could do another 16 gig RAM slot or a 32 and another 32 RAM is cheap right and that's the easiest way to upgrade your computer is just get another RAM chip and drop it in there you can do that yourself uh what do you think get him and hook him up with Agnes I mean we want to just straight up boom done deal All right, happy pill time. All right. Okay, so we're going to get this guy. We want to just go ahead and pair him up with one of the ladies. All the single ladies. Bo Slaw would, would, would work. Agnes would work. Alina. Boy, she's already maxed out. On, do wait, do we have a Lena Matt? No, we don't. That's all Runa. Dobie Slawa is hooked up with Berard. To Dobra Mil Yeah, see there's there's the weakness right there. Henrika's too old. Not that she's too old, she's too old for ten, ten there's a ten year difference. Um, Um, Milu, but it's, it's me, dang it, Radomira. Radomira is not too bad either. She's a little weak in the hunting side, but I mean, she's a five here, a ten here. He's a two, right? He's a two, 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 three, three. So she really makes up for it here. I mean, I guess we could put him with Skybora. She's a little heavier on the front end. Three, th seven, three, three, seven, three, six. Oh, Skies are, oh, that's right. Skies are number two in the village. And Ricky is going to be coming out of her hiatus in like three seasons. So if we put Skybora with him, 
That actually might work out pretty good. Ooh, oh, nope, that's a dude. That ain't going to work out. Weislaw was older, and she is hooked up with Presmere. There you go. Yeah, it should it should list the uh, the motherboard. I I'm partial to AMD uh, chipsets for my PC, but you get you you do you boo right. I think we're gonna put him with uh, Skybora. She's in Maple Zero Two. Anybody have any objections to that? I mean, he's a two 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 two. 3 3, right? Which means they're really strong here, average here. That really punches this up because that, that makes that nine points and that nine points, five points, five points. By the way, if you missed the memo, I dropped the uh, delay down to 10 seconds on the uh, chat. So. I mean, in the time it ty takes you to type up a second message, you know, you should be pretty close to, you know, ready to roll. Roll Tide. All right, Sky Boar. I'm thinking Sky Boar is where we're going to put him. We're going to hook him up with her. Hello there. Hello there. He's 24, yeah. All right. All right, let's... Uh, Sky Bora is in Maple Zero Two. So where's our FNG here? Mesimir. Put him in Maple Zero Two. Sky Bora, surprise! <laughs> and we need a workplace for him. Um, you know what? He could be a barn key, a barn worker right now. He could work the donkey shelter for a minute. Actually, let's put him in the donkey shelter. And good. Because the first thing he'll do tomorrow is feed them. And then I know that'll be taken care of. And there's no, oh, you don't have to do anything there. Oh, he's just going to help breed them. Cool. We got Don Quixote and Badonkey Donk. In case you missed the names of the two donkeys. Cool. All right. It's uh, it's close to dark, but we're going to go ahead and take a chance. No, we're not. We'll do that first thing in the morning. And no, actually, we're going to take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance on me. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. We all might have sad time. I'm still free. Take a chance on me. Okay, I hear the deer. Shoot. Okay, we're trying to get over to the road here. Okay, there's the path. Here we go. Okay, there's the wizard. All right, here we go. There's no camp. Okay. So now, we're coming up over the rise and no carts. There's no crash carts. There should be no ambush. Otherwise, there'd be two guys there and two guys over here. And there's nobody to pin against a tree with a bolt. So, N-U-T-S. Nuts, nuts, nuts. There's four Tatanka, though. Hmm. What should we do about that? We are a little above weight. What are we... The hell do I have on me that's got oh where did all that wheat grain come from was that a payoff
Uh, okay, let's go ahead and just pull up. Oh, we're going to restock potions of weight when we. Bruh. Hello. One. Yep, you. Come on. You. Mm -hmm. Two. Wait. Shoot. Oh, no, wait. There they are. Yep. You too. Come on. Come on. Listen, dumbass. Come on. I ain't all night. Wife's waiting for me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right over here. I got a parking spot for you. Right here. No waiting. Come on. For crying out loud. We need a freaking invitation or something. Come on. Come on. A little further. Oh, you ass. Seriously. Hello? 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 Thank you. Boom. Miss me, bitch. Give my bolt back. Dummies. Do, 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 do. All right, cool. That was fun. Did you guys have fun with that? I had fun with that. Yeah, Steve-O, talk, 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 to, talk, to, talk to us about uh, PC stuff, dude. I'm looking for AMD processor stuff. But um, I, need to, I need to start looking at pricing out crap. If I have to put it on my freaking credit card I may have to but I need a couple of good three four good paychecks in a row pay down my credit card balance a little bit more pay off my tooth that I got extracted last year all right hey look how convenient there's storage right here boys and girls like I knew what I was doing that worked out Potions of weight. We've got potions of strength. We've got some healing. Sure. Another one of those. A couple of those. Sure. Oh, look. Food storage. How convenient. 280 fresh meat. Fresh brisket on the board. Okay. Yep, and then you got to cool it all, too. All right, awesome. Steve-O is the man. Steve-O, you are now my one of my computer consultants. All right. Um, oh, geez, it's, it's past bedtime. But now we've taken care of two aspects of I know only one guy who would be able to erect so many buildings that quick. It's the greatest erection of in the world. That's a funny movie too. Yeah, I kind of, I, I, I agree. I like the idea of uh, air-cooled, not not up on liquid-cooled stuff. I don't want all the fancy lights and really foo-foo crap either. All right, so we're going to do a little hunting real quick. Um, 
Let's talk to talk to the I've wifey. Missed you, beloved. That would be it. Come another time. Hey, See hey. you soon. That's what she said. All right. Um, we're going to go down and gather some uh, fur because we're behind on fur production for now. Um, oh, let's do the boing. Bloop, bloop, boing. Boing. Yeah, sweet. Um, do our people come over here and use this campfire? Is that why the campfire is lit at night? I can't figure that out. I keep thinking there's bad guys here. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Maybe it's within the space of our community, and that's why the campfire gets lit. Oh, contraband. <gasps> oh, this has been here. All right, I'll take the salt. Um, all right, we're going to go blast um, the wolves and the bear. Hopefully, it'll be two bears. Now, see, this is what I think a bakery should look like. It just has two ovens and then, like, three job positions. Two to three job. Two job positions, two ovens, that's probably good, right? I think so. Uh, okay. All right, so um, the question of the day, since you guys didn't read the description, top three movies, your favorite three movies. I will list mine. Okay, there we go. My favorite movies are the, are uh, a tie for first between Miracle and October Sky. And then Top Gun Maverick has moved up to become my number three favorite movie. Where'd their buddy go? Where'd their buddy go? There's their buddy. Oh, their buddy moved. They must have gone after a rabbit. I think I heard a shot. Lord of the Rings movies. I have not seen them. Not my jam. Oh, I got to re-equip. Look, I have... Wait, where'd it go? Oh, son of a bitch. What happened to... I thought I had an extra knife on me. Crap. Well, it's stupid. Three, four... Five. Oh, nope, need those are rocks. Gonna make a stupid stone knife. I had an extra knife on me. No. There. Green Mile. I have not watched the whole thing. I had it at one point on DVD, and I never watched it. Tom Hanks and um, the, uh, oh gosh, big black guy, he died a few years ago. Um, then um, Alien, of course, it's terrific. Fury, very good. I was watching a video or reading something the other day about the story with Fury and 
the most badass tanker ever in the U.S. Army. So if you want to learn more about it, I will post the link. Hey, blockhead. Yeah, that. Come on. Come on. Keep coming. That's what I thought. Wasn't the smartest bear in the woods. I have not seen the signs. Shawshank. Yeah, I was watching Shawshank last week. Watched a little bit of it. Not much, but it was on. It was the rooftop scene. Which, the rooftop scene is the first time I heard the term fuck stick. Because Clancy Brown used it. And then I added that into my vernacular. <laughs> Clancy Brown's awesome. Morgan Freeman's awesome too. But to me, Clancy Brown is a, a, an actor I really, I've enjoyed his work. I love the original Highlander movie. Shawshank Redemption's great. And um, he plays Sergeant, then Private Zim in Starship Troopers. That's it. Oh, man. Uh, oh, you know what? They're stinking badgers. We could go get some stinking ba I'm trying to collect uh, collect up fur. How's that stupid knife working? Down to 25%. Uh, yeah, shoot. Do lynx have fur? Lynx are fur, right? I don't hunt them. I have a moratorium on hunting them. I don't tend to hunt except the stinking badgers. Oh, there's several of them over here. Look at that. Here, kitty kitty. Whoa, you just came running over here? Shot you in the ass. Now you dead. Sorry. But you screwed up. You came towards me. I like the kitties. Nacho Libre. Okay. Cool. It's casual. You like what you want. Now, one thing I had forgotten, you do not have to equip a stone knife. It just has to be on your person. I always thought you had to equip it, so I always put it in slot eight. Poor kitty. They're so cute. Desperate times, kids. They went this way. Damn it, it heard me even sneaking. Shit, missed it. Oh, there's his friend. Damn it, nope. I guess they're not like foxes. They don't necessarily hold a grudge against you. 
to shoot at them. Toast. That was a long range shot right there, gang. Caught it in a stretch. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. How's this stupid stone knife doing? Oh, it's got a couple of uses left on it. Let's go get some stinking badgers. And then see, oh, there's one right there. I don't know if I got him or not. I missed him. Oh, nope, I got him. Ha <laughs> ha! Give me my bolt back. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that guy's attention. I think he's coming after me now. He's just behind the tree. Now he's not. Make sure his buddy doesn't decide to come back. Any chance bad guys are in here? Any chance? Any chance we can talk to your players? Still no chance. All right, back to the village we go. Yeah, I could, I could shoot that little fucker. It's like that. One more stupid. Drama. Oh, still rolling. I was say, where'd the iron bolt go? I like spaghetti too. Not spaghetti westerns necessarily, but I like spaghetti. I need to make some spaghetti before it starts getting hot again. Jeez, I went through the whole winter and didn't make it. Because here's the thing. I learned something not too long ago that apparently you can use um, carrots. You can put like a whole carrot. I, I think you got to peel it though. Or you can put sweet potato in spaghetti sauce and not have to put sugar in it. So, well, we had a production issue. Now we don't have a production issue. So now I don't know what the hell the production issue was. But you know what we're about to have? Fur. Yes, kills the acid, yes. 
But then you don't have to use sugar. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, honey, honey. Okay, I'm thinking the moo cows need to be milked real quick, too. Yep. Let's go milk the moo cows. We need to send all but two of the bulls on their way. Oh, now we got a farm shed issue. Great. Um, we got some resource storage. Okay. It's uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer. Yep. Okay. Be up there in a minute. That's manure. Can't do that. Wait a minute. I can't move. Crap. Uh, so to speak. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, X. No, don't drop 150 of it. Okay, cool. Give me this. I'm going to fix this problem here real quick. Because it's going to catch up here. It's going to catch right back up here real quick. Huh. There. Problem solved. All right. So now we need, uh, we're down to 21 kilos. So I think that uh, we just get rid of this. Get rid of that. Grab one of these. And then get seven buckets. Get the crappy ones. Right? Is that, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still seven. Oh, we got two new calves. <gasps> we'll have to name them next episode. I'm not going to do it right now. get rid of some of the older calves or older bulls Durham Yeah, I think uh, I think he's right. Take your time and make an informed decision. Informed purchase decision. You guys need to get together on my Discord or something. And uh, then you guys can communicate whatever you want to do. Milk stud. PM via Discord or something and we well, all can chat it out and get your computer situation squared away. Unless you want something pre-built, but she's already done. All right, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Okay, how are we doing here? So that's 15 buckets of milk, 17 buckets of soured milk. Okay, so and this is day two of autumn, right? It is. Okay, cool. I resolved some issues there. That's good. 
and we have so much fertilizer. Maybe you should go ahead and just knock out these. Wait, it takes five seasons to get them their first crop. So if we did autumn, so winter, spring, summer, autumn, winter. If anything, we should wait till winter. And then they'll, because they uh, produce in summer. But then that'll get them a step closer. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I hate this stuff. Ugh. Give me some Roundup. Speaking of Roundup, I think we're going to round up and round off and wrap up this episode of Medieval Dynasty. Three and a half hours. Holy crap. Yeah. I, I kind of want to eat something. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. So listen, if you guys aren't part of my Discord, maybe jump over there, compare notes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay, anyway, uh, what just happened there? Well, who the hell cares? Fuck's sake. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, if you, what, no, stupid Microsoft, go away. Uh, well, hi, Joshua, you got here just in time for me to sign off. You did. Um, guys. First off, prayers out to Autumn. Let's get her healed up and home. Uh, Hugh, you guys get make uh, contact with my Discord page or something. Link in the description below. Then you can PM each other and uh, chit-chat to get the info you need from Steve-O to uh, get your PC situation set up. Sorry we missed you there, uh, Joshua. Hope uh, the moving situation is going well. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.